Hello everyone. In part 3 of Power BI Infographics, we'll try to get a view which I have on my screen at the moment. So what I'm trying to show is the gender ratio by country. And I've sort of built something and we'll just try to replicate this. Uh, let's go and do it. So the first thing we want to do is we have we want to build a filter. So we'll have a slicer and we'll just select the entity which is the country name. Now I want to have a horizontal slider, so it gives me uh, more space to show the infographic. So I'll just move it up and go on the general tab and just change the orientation to horizontal. Uh, the next step is I already have the infographics designer custom visual loaded. So you want to drag that. And for the infographic, we will just select the, the gender as a category, we will select the value for the measure and we will select the entity for the column by. So as you can see for, we've got Bahama selected and it shows us the female, the number of female is 175,231 and the number of male is some number. So what we'll do is just click on the this edit button or edit mark and add another shape. So click on this insert shape, go to people and then just select a shape. So we'll just select this. Now it, it just gives us a generic shape. So let's just go back to shape one and change the color, the background color or the value color. So it looks slightly better now. But let's go back to shape two. And for the shape, we can do a data binding on the shape. So we'll just go there and enable that and say, yeah, we want a gen data binding on gender. And for female, we'll select the woman. And for the male, we'll select the man. And just click apply. So as you can see, this becomes available to us. I'll go back and I will say fill percentage. So what I'm saying is depending on how many male uh, compared to women are there, you fill up the infographic. And we'll do one more thing. We'll change the layout from inner to outer. So it makes uh, both the visuals of the same height. I don't like the color gray, so what I'll just do is go and change the color to a blue or a purple. I prefer a slightly different color. I'll use this. And this looks good to me. So, yep, I'll close this. And I've got an infographic. So you can see for, um, we'll come back to this. Let's just get the map visual also. So I'll use the ArcGIS maps and uh, just reduce the size and just select the entity. So what this does is for each of the country, it will point us on the map where the country is and how the infographic relates to that particular country. So it's pointing us to Bahamas. I don't like the shape. So what I'll do is I'll just go edit this and I'll just change the base map to a streets view and go back to the report. This is how my report looks like at the moment. So if you see this is Bahamas and I can go back and select Australia and you see that the infographics changes or I had a look and Afghanistan has a really skewed ratio. So I'll click on Afghanistan and you can see there are really few women compared to the number of men and it also points out where Afghanistan is on the map. So this is one example of using the infographic visual uh, and creating your own dashboard in Power BI. I have uh, grabbed the data for this uh, visual from uh, this site called GeoHive. However, I had to uh, manipulate the data a bit and I have my Excel. I had once I had manipulated the data, I have an Excel sheet which I've loaded to my website. So you can grab the Excel sheet from my website. I'll put a link uh, below. Or you can go to the website and just grab the data directly, uh, whatever works for you. So I hope uh, you like the video and thanks for watching the video.